Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome to today's video. Um, today we're going to have a look at Count Dor Drago, the Lord Commander um, of the Grey Knights. Let's. Um, is he known as Lord Commander of the Grey Knights or is he just chapter, overall chapter master? Let's have a quick look. That's uh, Caldor Drago, Supreme Grand Master. There you go, Supreme Grand Master. So, Caldor Drago obviously wears a suit of Terminator plate, uh, tactical dreadnought armour. Um, he's got Storm Shield, he's got his sword, which is the Titan Sword. And yeah, you can either have him helmetless or with a helmet. Um, and it's a resin kit. I know how people feel about the Games Workshop resin. It's not as good as obviously Forge World resin, but I think that over the years they have tried to rectify some of the issues that they had with what people were calling fail cast so there's no destructions on this because these were what's the word i'm looking for these were these types of kit were well before the times when numbering your pieces was the thing to do so they didn't include um, destructions with these now you will need to really look at these pieces these resin pieces I, I recommend giving them a wash warm soapy water first uh, do that while they're still on the sprue um, I've got a slight bend in the Titan sword here so I'm hoping that um, with some hot water I can straighten that out um, but it looks good. I originally bought him when he was metal and he had a bit of heft to him as a metal kit. You know, there wasn't any messing about. You knew he was, uh, he was there. So, let's come back to that. And uh, you get 40 mil base because he's on a because uh, he's a Terminator, but Kaldor Drago, 5 inch move, 2 plus weapon skill, 2 plus ballistic skill, he's strength 4, toughness 4, 7 wounds, 6 attacks, he's leadership 9 has got 2 up save, which is fairly standard, uh, 2 up save is fairly standard obviously for your Terminators, um, he's strength and toughness uh, in line with most Space Marines, it's his weapons that give him a little bit of interest so he's got master crafted storm bolter which is 24 inches rapid 5 2 strength 4 minus 1 ap 2 damage and he's got the titan sword which gives him plus 4 to his strength minus 4 ap and 3 damage so in melee combat i can see him being a bit of a beast now let's have a look at the Terminator. So his torso comes in one piece, and like I said, you, there's a lot of cleanup that is going to have to happen on this. And what I'm talking about are these little extra, kind of like little triangles um, that have been pushed added to the miniature to help with the resin casting process. So we've got some down the bottom here. We've got another one just on, another two here actually that need to be cleaned up. We've got some here by the book and you really need to take your time. Um, some near his psych out grenades. Uh, you're really gonna need to take your time going around this miniature and searching. Okay, and these have basically all been added in order to ensure that the resin flows all the way down and there's no air bubbles and stuff like that um, in, in the mini. And again, when we look at his 
shield arm you're going to need to really closely look and see um, what you've got and then obviously his sword arm again you've got extra like triangular gates here to force the resin through to make sure that everything is done and everything looks good um, yeah so brand new scalpel blade on your scalpel I recommend and gently cut these things away um, some of them you might be able to just clip like these bigger sprue gates you can clip and then trim um, but the rest of it is is very much going to be using like there's a there's a triangle that's been added to the top of this purity seal so you're really gonna have to get in there and just gently cut that away but that's that's the sprue and um, obviously super glue when you make this is the bonding uh, glue of choice so but come back in a sec once I've got it all cleaned and cleaned up and we'll build Keldor Drago. I'm going to build him without his banner pole. Um, those of you that have seen my previous videos, you probably know my feelings on banner poles. <laughs> um, and I'm going to put his helmet on, I think. Right, come back in a sec. Hi everyone. Right, so what are we going to do? Right. So I'm only using four parts for Drago simply because, um, as I've previously mentioned, I don't like back banners. So that's going in my bits box along with his unhelmeted head. I think I've got all of the triangular tabs that they use to help the resin flow. Um, but the last time I did a resin model, I did find a few extra tabs that I'd missed as I was painting. So, yeah, hopefully I've got them all this time round. Um, so, how are we going to do this? Well, the first thing we're going to do is I just want to make it so that Drago is um, elevated slightly. So, I'm going to pop him... On a piece of old um, piece, it's, it's, this is one of the floor tiles from the older, the original sort of like um, terrain sets that GW did, um, which I actually prefer. I don't know if there's anybody else out there that that prefers these. Um, you could make some absolutely huge buildings with it, um, which I did. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I kind of miss this modularity. And plus you would get a lot of extra bits in it. I mean, there were things like um, uh, street lamps. There were street lamps. There were um, building lamps um, on brackets that you could put on the sides of buildings. Uh, you had other extra bits and pieces that um, you could use like um, support struts and things like that girders I suppose you could call them concrete girders I suppose uh, loads of different things that were really useful in the older type kits um, so that's the only bit of plastic that I am gluing so I won't need the EMA anymore so you put that away um, what I am going to do is I'm going to glue his sword arm in place I'm not going to glue his shield arm in place and I'm not going to glue his head in place I am going to glue his head to a paper clip so that I can paint it off the model and all I've done um, if you can just make that out I've just drilled a one millimeter hole in the base of the noggin I'm going to stick him stick that to that and hopefully that should um,
glue in place enough for me to be able to um, paint it. Um, I'm going to glue his sword arm to the top of this. Uh, sorry, his shield arm, I should say, to the top of this. And the reason I'm painting this off the model is to allow me to get all the detail because otherwise the shield would cover it up get all the detail on this side of the mini um, but I am going to glue his sword arm on and these there's actually got some very nice triangular tabs here that are ideal So I'm just going to glue that in place, just hold it in place while it goes off, hopefully not too long. And then I'm going to glue it to the base. Um, now I'm going to do a paint video for this, uh, for Drago, that's not playing is it? Um, and. Just going to be a quick tutorial how to bring him up to um, the battle ready standard and then parade ready. So that's his sword arm and his shield would go on down there. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue him. like so I think on this piece glue him on like that just need to hold that in place while it goes off and then that will be him ready for me to chuck some primer on and start the painting process. So yeah, there you go. That's the that's how far I'm taking the build, as I say, for painting purposes. Um, and these are the sub assemblies. So we've got his shield here and obviously his head. So these will all be sprayed and made ready to go on um, once they're painted. So yeah, join me in the next video and hopefully we will start a quick painting process um, to be able to get him on the tabletop as battle ready and then hopefully as um, parade ready. And I'll see you soon. All right, take care. Bye.